Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. If you're new, click the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below what you think to this color technique. So here we are, we're just gonna be sectioning through. I'm putting in a central part in. I'm then gonna be rough section it into a bit of a hot cross bun just so I can see the quadrants. And now I'm starting with a zigzag section on the top of the head, working my way around the crown. Just in a nice zigzag section, this will diffuse in between the color melt. That's the top section done. I'm gonna clean it up and clip it up. I'm now working just below that, another zigzag section. So working it through there, it's a smaller section through the front and the back dips right down to near the nape as you can see. Comes all the way back up and then comes round the front and we're leaving like a little bit of like a money piece area around the front. There's the sectioning pattern. You can see the yellow, the black and the orange. I'm gonna start colouring now. So I'm gonna start with the orange. I'm just going to start on the regrowth section I'm going to work all the way through. I'm going to be using foil to keep it separated and make sure that it doesn't bleed onto the rest of the hair. Colour inspiration for this came from the Pantone uh, palette. And if you Google Autumn Winter or 2021 Pantone, you'll see that it's talking about these greeny yellows, these real bursts of orange, but then keeping the depth in there with the black, I thought would break it up quite nice. So I'm basically just working this orange from root to tip on the underneath. This will give a really nice vibrant face frame. See the zigzag section there a little bit clearer the zigzag section is just used just to diffuse so if you're looking at really melting colors together zigzags uh, and triangles are really good for diffusing colors again we're just applying the orange on the root and i'm going to pop the foil on just to keep it away from the neck i do this on clients as well um, in salon i just like to keep my colors nice and neat dropping down each section, making sure we're getting 100% saturation as well. So really nice and quick sectioning pattern. Uh, gives a real cool result. You can use literally every color in this. So in these different quadrants or sections, just get creative. Get using your favorite colors or Look at Pantone's trends or look at whatever inspires you and create something really cool. The reason I dipped all the way down to near the nape was because I didn't want too much of the orange coming around the ends at the back. I wanted it to be mainly a face frame, money piece, sort of uh, a money piece section, which would then just veil over the shoulders. What do you guys think? Was the sectioning pattern quite simple? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you do something similar and let me know if you're gonna try this. I'd love to uh, see your own colors. If you're enjoying these videos, the how-to videos that I'm doing, do let me know. And if you subscribe, it helps me out so much, helps the channel grow and liking the videos, sharing the videos. So yeah, it's great to have you on board. Again, just getting saturation in there and a foil on the forehead area just to keep it away from the client's forehead. The 
hardest thing about this colouring technique is probably keeping the, the zigzags separate because they zigzag quite tight just turn your brush to the side and work it up into those little zigzag sections I've got a cutting demonstration video coming after this on Wednesday as well. So this is a standard mannequin head and I put a nice modern day shag haircut onto it. You'll see the finished result at the end of this video, but the cutting technique will be on Wednesday. So click that little bell and you'll be notified when the video goes live. I'm also going to do I turned the shag into quite a textured wave, so that's another video that's going to come next Wednesday of how I created the textured wave. Just making sure I'm getting my saturation here before I move on to the next colour. To separate the colours I'm again using foil, keeping everything nice and neat. Who's a neat colourist and who's a messy colourist? There's always one or the other in the salons. Let me know in the comments down below. It'd be great to know if you're messy or if you're clean. Dropping down this next section now, this is gonna be the black section. So having that real vibrancy underneath with the orange, that mid band of black, which just gives it that bit more natural look, but really sets off the colors. Again, probably the hardest thing here is the zigzags, so turning my brush to the side to make sure I get up into those little grooves and getting the saturation in there to make sure we get full coverage. What colour would you like me to do next guys? Would you like me to do a blonde? Would you like me to do a balayage? What would you like me to show you? Let me know in the comments down below. So working in those little zigzag sections you can see there, turn my brush to the side, make sure we get in the little grooves. What do you guys prefer to see? Do you prefer to see these vibrant colours or do you prefer to see more natural or do you just like the variation of both? There we go again, just turn my brush to the side, getting into those little zigzag sections. And like I said, this section pattern works literally for everything. So putting in these zigzags will just diffuse the colours in between if you want to do reds or coppers or blondes. You can even foil with this technique as well. So putting in the zigzag sections and then foiling in between, separating the colours, it works really well. It's also a really nice technique and sectioning pattern for using for either ombres or balayage. Because you've got the different sections broken down and diffused by the zigzags you'll get a real soft blend so one of the things I like to do is use the middle section and leave natural because then that will be used as depth and then with the sections on the top and underneath that's where you really want to put in your highlighters your freehand bleaches and that will give you the either the money piece or give you the balayage or ombre finish One of the things I really like to concentrate on when using vibrant colours is just to keep, and any colour to be honest, is to keep it really nice and clean. I think when you're working on hair and you're not getting it all over the client and you're just keeping your sections really nice and clean, especially when you're educating, 
it makes it look that little bit more next level. So if you're a messy colorist, and I know we all can be at some point, but just work on getting a little bit cleaner, a little bit crisper with your sections, and it just polishes off your either your lecture, your seminar, or your video. And clients notice as well. So if they've been to a messy colorist before and they're, they've experienced color on their face or on their neck or on their ears and you're putting foils in between to make sure none of that happens, clients do notice. So again, just making sure saturation is there. Saturation is key at the end of the day. And because we're working on a nice blonde, we're gonna get the vibrancy, but we also wanna get the deposit of color. So that's why saturation is key when it comes to using intensities and all types of colors. Again guys, if you've got this far and you're waiting till the end, thank you so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Uh, put a comment down below, let me know what you're thinking while I'm doing this. What's everyone predicting for the next big trends? Let me know in the comments down below what you're doing in salon. Who's looking forward to getting back into the salon? I can't actually wait. I hope we go back on the uh, 3rd of December. And if you're listening to this and watching this uh, in the future, we're currently on lockdown in the UK and um, this is why I'm doing these sorts of colours. I'm, I'm getting creative, I'm doing stuff in, the, in my studio at my salon that I don't necessarily get to do all the time. So I'm just spending a bit of time getting creative and doing just some, some bits I've always wanted to do. How have you used your downtime during lockdown? Have you used it to get creative? Social media? Have you been doing courses? I'd love to know. If you recommend any courses, put it down below in the comments. It'd be great to hear uh, your experiences about them. Again, this is the last section of the black just being nice and neat around those zigzag sections because the top is gonna to be yellow. So making sure we're not getting any black on there. Keep it nice and neat, get the saturation in there and then we'll move over to the yellow. Using foil just to separate again and then I'll be laying the yellow color over the top of there. So with the top section, I'm gonna start with the roots, work it all the way through, and then we're gonna process for 20 minutes. I'll rinse, I'll blow dry. So today's blow dry method I'm gonna be using is uh, wrap dry, round brush again, straighten, and I'm gonna leave you with the straight result at the end of this video. With the cutting video, I'm gonna show you a variation of it straight and it wavy and then I'm gonna release a video of how I made the waves and how I made the texture within the hair. So simply just applying to the roots, nice and easy, thin sections to make sure we get saturation all the way through. I'm gonna skip a little bit of this bit because you all know how to apply a full head color. Thank you all for watching. It is much, much appreciated. And like I said, please subscribe if you aren't already. Like the video because it makes the video go further. Comments, I'd love to hear what you think about the video and all the things I've been asking throughout. There's the yellow done. There's the sections done. 
process for 20 minutes and now we're wrap drying. Here's the round brush I'm using just for mid lengths and ends just to smooth through. What do you think of the colour guys? Straightening, the one hand straightening technique. Use the comb in the same hand as the straighteners. Use the thumb to keep separate and straighten through. And there is the finished result. Thank you for being here. We'll see you on the next video.